Hello and welcome back to the Baron's Game Room. I'm Aaron as always, and the climax of the holiday season is fast approaching on us. Uh, it is officially December and I still don't have any holiday or winter or Christmas or any kind of game that fits that. Um, and I don't get paid for this, so sorry, I wasn't going to go out and buy some new ones. But what I do have are a whole lot of blinks. Now, if you haven't heard of Blinks, you can go back to our page there and watch a couple of videos I made last December about this exact product. Um, but basically, this is not sponsored. I'm just a fan of Blinks, and uh, I want to tell you guys about some of my favorite games. I think it's a very unique and innovative uh, tabletop gaming system that I like sharing with people because, again, I think it's just cool. So the long short of it, Blinks are these magnetic hexagons that light up, and each Blink has a game programmed into it. And it can teach that game to every other Blink you own in order to well, play the game that's on it. And the one I want to talk about today is Hexenwood. So Hexenwood is an abstract strategy game for one to four players, uh, where you are controlling a forest spirit. Basically, it's an area control game. Uh, each turn, you're going to either move some of the spaces you already control or just expand the area you do control. By the end of the game, hoping to control the most spots on the whole board. Setup can be making really any shape you want with the pieces, uh, but once you think you've got it set up, you'll then pick some pieces to be your starting spaces. Clicking it once will make it go red, twice makes it go blue, purple player, yellow player. Each player should be a different color, is what we're saying. Once everyone's selected a color, double click any blink, start the game. So on your turn, you're going to click one of your trees to activate it, and then you'll see the board change a bit. These fully light up spaces are places you can spread to, which simply means you'll add a whole new tree to your area. But these partially lit up spaces are areas you can jump to. So if I click one of those, I'll actually lose this space, and now I've moved to here entirely. Now, like I said, this is an area control game, so you actually can steal spaces away from the other players that you play, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Basically, whether you spread or jump, anytime you get a new space, you will turn all connected spaces of an opponent's color to your color, even if you were to jump. I'll jump here, and we'll watch all of these turn purple. Now, I did say you can play this with one player. And that's thanks to this awesome AI blink that you can set to any color and to three different difficulties as well. And basically, this will just play a whole color for you. Basically, when you attach it to the thing, when it's their turn, it'll make their move for them. It's super awesome. If you're a fan of tabletop gaming, technology, abstract games, solo games, this game is for you. Baron approved, y'all.